Hey there, hope everybody's doing well and having a great weekend. So in this video, we've got some very important data coming out and I'll get into that in a little while. We're gonna cover a bit about crypto and also we've got a signal that is flashing right now, which is giving us a bit of hope that some big move is coming very, very soon. So before I start, give us a like and give us a subscribe. It's always much appreciated. All your support is always much appreciated. But what is that data coming out? So as we know, the CPI data has been rather sticky of recent, and it's getting better. It's getting better. And obviously, the data that's coming out this week is obviously going to make the decision on what the Federal Reserve is going to do. But don't forget, earlier last week, I think it was on Monday, we had that big crash. But then we got the data came in for jobless claims was better than expected. And that actually gave a lot of the market a lot of confidence that we're not yet going into a recession. So obviously the market's pumped up from that. But today on Wednesday, we got the CPI data and we know this has been the key indicator for what the Federal Reserve decisions are going to be. So obviously the, the CPI has been very, very sticky, but it's getting better. So CPI year over year was basically, the forecast was three and previous was three. And then it basically, the core CPI, which is very important, was at 0 0.2. But the previous one was 0 0.1. So if we can get better than 0 0.2, that is going to be good. But obviously, it's come to a point now where the Federal Reserve have got to start to do something in terms of cutting rates. They've been a bit like waiting and waiting. And then obviously on last Monday, we've got that big, big breakdown on crypto and the stocks. And obviously that put a lot of fear. That was sort of giving the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, food for thought in what they need to do. They do need to start to cut. And there's a lot of people starting to call for that now. And But there's also people saying we shouldn't be cutting yet because obviously it's very, very easy to get inflation to start moving back to the upside. So it's got to be that fine balancing act so it's going to be interesting on wednesday what's going to happen this will be a market mover in the traditional stock markets and also in the crypto space as well so we just got to keep an eye on that because like i said this is going to be a big move so let's go and check out what is actually happening in the crypto space at the moment We've just got to remember, come weekend, low volume, it's always highly manipulated. If you're basically leverage trading, you've just got to be careful. It's manipulated like anything by the whales because there's just low volume. They can move the market just like that with a few million dollars. But overall, we were early this morning, actually, we were all green. But of making this video at the moment, we're all red. But on today, in a total for the full day, we're starting to get a bit of a mixed signal now. We're starting to get a bit of green, a bit of red coming out. Things are getting better. And then on the week, obviously, we're starting to see more moves making. We've got Sui up at 42.92%. We've got Teo at 21%. But look at that. We've got CRO up at 11%. So as we go on to the month, it's getting a little bit better. We're starting to see more green shoots. So CRO at 4.13%. We've got Teo at 2.4%. 0.48%, Solana up 11%, XRP, because we've got that really good news about uh, the Ripple case versus the SEC, and now XRP is up 21.99%. So overall, we're starting to recover, but we're very on that dicey ground, aren't we? Because obviously, that data this week is going to be the market mover to the upside or down to the downside. But I am waiting, I am waiting for that up season, and I keep on accumulating. So let's have a look. Why everybody has been selling... Who's been buying? So what we can see, Julia Munro, is basically no selling is coming from New Wales. The old whales are not selling. They're actually, some of them are actually buying. New Wales sold on August the 5th at the largest loss since May of 2021. 688 million. And you can see this basically here on the charts. But what we're finding out is that paying attention, this is on CryptoQuan, Bitcoin short-term whales. The short-term holders will realize price in the 64K to 65K. This level may present itself as resistance. This is from the XBT manager. So it shows you on here. But what it's also shown is that most Bitcoin on-chain clinical indicator that were hovering near the borders have now shifted back to signal to bull market. Bitcoin was discounted for only three days. And this goes back to the here. 
the whales are buying. So as we're finding a lot of retail was selling because they were panic selling, a lot of the big boys in there and girls who are the whales were in the institutions were just buying. And for me personally, what I do is I follow the, what the institutions and the whales doing. When there's blood on the street, when there's people, everybody's fearful, I buy. Because we've got, we can see here on the Bitcoin rainbow chart, Right now, we are basically in a fire sale. That's what's happening. We've been more so accumulation area by, then obviously like we had that big pullback, it falls back down to that fire sale mark. So this is what it's saying, it's a good buying opportunities now. It's a fire sale, take advantage of it. Because all you have to do is just on this chart here, it's just zoom out and look what's happened. We're just on a trajectory up. Not down, we're on the way up. So this is what I mean. You can look at the five minute, the minute, half an hour, hour, four hour. You know, you've got to zoom out daily, weekly, and monthly. Check it out. That, and that takes away the fear, in my opinion. But looking at the fear index at the moment, we did come down last week, down to 25. The fear was in. And always Warren Buffett says, when there's fear in the market, that is when you buy. When there's greed in the market, that is when you sell. And at the moment, we went down to 25. We're now sitting at 39. And then obviously, if we start really pumping up to the upside, obviously that's going to change and gradually move up to maybe that 40 region, 45 region, and so forth. But obviously, when I said on here on the rainbow chart, this is obviously for Bitcoin. For me personally, this is me buying my altcoins. And I've been buying my altcoins. I've been buying CRO. I've been buying a Bitcoin. I've been buying Pepe. I've been buying a few other coins as well. I have actually bought a bit of XTP as well uh, that I've bought. And I keep on loading up on these dips. And why, like I said on the other video, I was away, business trips, family holidays and such like. I was earning money, spare money that I have to put back into the markets. And that's what I'm doing because this bull market has not really fully started. We've moved up to a point, but now we've sort of been going sideways, chopping sideways for quite a while. And obviously, to me, this is a buying opportunity. A lot of the alts have really, really, as we can see on here, have really, really dropped down. And some of them have dropped down to the bear market lows. So for me, it's an opportunity to buy some of my favorite coins that I or tokens. That's what I've been doing because I've got a really, really gut feeling that this bull cycle is about to kick off soon. Don't forget, stock markets, a lot of traders are on holiday, they're away from the markets, and when September, October comes, or November, people are back in the market, and that is when the volumes will start to pick up again. So at the moment, I'm using this as a DCA opportunity for me. So we can see Bitcoin at the moment, just perfectly bouncing off these areas of support here, once, twice, and three times here. So we bounced out that and moving back into that channel again of where we basically just chop around sideways. It's just basically, uh, we have that big move up and then a lot of consolidation. And basically, the longer we consolidate, the bigger move that is coming in. And hopefully that bigger move is to the upside. So what is the indicator that I've been using when I look at the weekly is flashing by. So basically, on the weekly at the moment, we've got our buy signal. Now, the last time we got the buy signal was down here on Monday, the 31st of July. And we had that nice, on the July, we had that nice move uh, to the upside, as we can see right here. We had that around about, if I could get the graphs out here. So looking at the price range around here, we had 181% move to the upside for Bitcoin. And then basically... We've just been chopping around. And that is from basically uh, of August of 2023. But also, we got that beautiful buy signal prior to that, which was back in December of 2022. And you can see here, moving up and up and up. We got another buy signal here, and then moved up and up and up. And now, we've just got the buy signal again that has come up and basically flashing Buy. And it all coincides co with basically what we've got here, basically a fire seg signal. And now we've got on the hash ribbons a buy signal, which is coming out. It's been fairly accurate. And I'm following this. Like I said, I'm following all this data, following what the whales are doing, and basically 
DCAing and buying more coins. So everything is looking really hunky dory. And looking at CRO at the moment, because obviously CRO had that beautiful lows down there at around about 50 cents to 45 cents kind of mark. And like around this area here, this is where my accumulation zone was. But I've also, when we had that big dip down there, I was accumulating around about that eight cents more. So obviously on these dips, I've been buying more. And we've basically been falling on this downside channel here, falling on the downside channel, and we're starting to move back up above that channel of that falling wedge. So like I said, we had falling volume, as you can see here, actually if I draw it out here, we can see here, we've got that falling volume there on a falling wedge, which tends to be quite bullish, and basically, hopefully, we're going to start making our way back up and getting up to around about that 17 pence mark again. Now, just like Bitcoin here, we've got that extra buy signal, just like Bitcoin, is coming to play as well. Now, the last time we got that buy signal for CRO was back in August of 2023. And then from that point on, we started to make a move to the upside. We came back down and then a big impulsive move to the upside. And we're starting, history is starting to repeat again for CRO because CRO is, like I said, so many, fun going looking away from the charts, looking at the fundamentals, what is actually happening with the Kronos chain and crypto.com. A lot of things are happening on that ecosystem. And I, mean, I feel really do feel, I know a lot of people said it hasn't done anything. It's just dropping down. It's not moved or anything like that. Just like that, CRO, it's one of those project coins that just out of the blue can just skyrocket and just blast off to the moon, to Mars and beyond. It's one of those coins. It's just like ADA, Cardano, ADA. It's one of those coins where it does nothing and then just out of the blue, the volume comes in and way up we go. I'm not going to get left behind on this. I've been accumulating and I've got a lot, a lot of CRO. I've got an icy white as well. So that's how confident I am that CRO is going to make me more life-changing money. And I hope it does to a lot of other people as well. And it also proves to the naysayers as well. Like, because at the end of the day, you know, every, everybody, every project has a naysayers. So for me, CRO has been a big DCA opportunity. And I'm watching this buy signal very, very closely, just like I am with Bitcoin. And it's like all these other ones I've been buying here as well. A lot of these coins I hold. I hold Solana as well. I hold Ethereum. People saying, oh, no, I'd rather hold Solana. But I'd rather hold Solana and Ethereum as well. I've got Ponky, Pepe, XTP, Doge, Ada, Solana. I've got Sheeb as well. These, some of these are what I've got in my bag and XTP as well. So overall, I'm still feeling mega bullish. You've got to zoom out, look at the bigger picture, what is actually happening in the crypto space. There's a lot of things going on, and there's a lot of things in the favor of crypto as well. But this week, just watch out for that CPI data. That's going to be a market move, so it's worth just jotting that down in your diary and keeping an eye on it. So take care, have a great weekend, and I'll see you soon in the next video. Peace.